Page 17 Unit 1 Teacher's Pages As we start this book, let us remember a few ideas that were reflected on in Book 1. We need to remember that when we teach English at this level, there is a transition from the home language to the school language. It is not only a move from the mother tongue to the second and third language, but also a move to the more disciplined environment of the school, where social behavior is to be related to a group of peers. Learning English, therefore, need not involve the loss of the home language. While the child is being exposed to new ideas and worlds, she is still rooted in the present environment. Attempts are made in the book to draw on what is familiar to the child. The book supports the child's emotional needs and anxieties in order to strengthen the pathways to learning. By using games and tasks that draw on the imagination, the child will see that organized play and work have their own rules and discipline. Imaginative thinking is given a boost. The book encourages the child to use language in speech and writing, to express feelings and opinions, to reach out to others, see other points of views and thus develop as a social being. The child learns through fun and enjoyment, music, games and activity. There should be as much movement as possible, so that the child gets to use language without much conscious effort. All this is provided in the book. Praise the child for efforts and performance. Say, that's good, or let's try again, or do you want to change what you have done? rather than using stricter forms of speech. Be aware of different abilities among the children who are musically inclined, mathematically inclined, physically active, more introvert. Find ways to encourage each one to participate actively in the class. Page 18 Modulate your voice when you communicate with the class. Rephrase in different words if they do not understand you the first time. Let children work at their own speed. In book 2, emphasis has been laid on all the language skills. Listening and speaking. Read poems and stories aloud. Before you ask children to repeat or recite, exposure to the sounds of language is important. Do not give meanings but let them make sense of meanings by using whatever knowledge of the world and of language they already have. You are advised to practice the sounds of language yourself before you start repeating them in class in Say Aloud. Speaking on issues relevant to the child's life is to be done in talk time. Which language should the child use here? Encourage the child to talk and help him or her to increase the use of English. The environment should be motivating, encouraging and free from stress and fear for this to happen. Reading By now, the child should be reading on his or her own, so avoid the temptation to explain difficult words. Instead, let her guess meanings by choosing options that are given in the book or which you can give. All meanings need not be understood at once. Some meanings can come later. After the child realizes that her guessing of meanings may not be according to the context. When reading has to develop, the child should be given a chance to read with comprehension. Reading is not merely mouthing words. Writing Writing continues as in Book 1, with added focus on the running hand. This is necessary for eye and hand coordination at this stage. Please see that the child does not lift the pencil from the book while practicing till a word has been completed. Also see that the child has the correct grip on the pencil. More practice can be given for this. 
but do not overload the child with writing at this stage. For writing, activities like paper tearing, cutting, pasting, colouring within boundaries, stringing beads, using spoons for transferring rice from one bowl to another. For instance, are all important means of developing good handwriting at this stage. Page 19 Note, if the child is inclined to left-handed writing, do not push the child to be a right-handed writer. As in Book 1, divide the class into groups for activities. Call a group by different names, flowers, colors, birds, animals, etc. Dramatize emotions like being shy, happy, excited or angry. Unit 1 focuses on what the child's anxieties and uncertainties might be in going to school from a familiar home environment. The unit tries to help the child acclimatize to the different world of the school. But as said earlier, it encourages the child to talk of the familiar, pets, family, etc. and at the same time tries to ensure that expectations for school exist. For example, personal habits the things to pack into a school bag, etc.